Well, we just got some interesting news hot off the press today. Microsoft has announced that they are retiring the MTA certifications come June 30th, 2022. What does this mean for you if you have a Microsoft Technology Associate certification or you plan to get one before 2022? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Don't freak out, you'll be okay. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. I just got this news a little bit ago and it's really exciting and very interesting in many ways. And the first thing that I wanna knock out of the way is if you're looking to get an MTA certification before that retiring date, or if you have a Microsoft Technology Associate certification from the last couple years or so, you'll be okay. It's still a good idea to get if you're looking to get certified in IT. You know that I put out a video a couple weeks ago where I talked about some of the top certifications to get if you're looking to get into IT and the MTA certifications definitely made that list and they still do to this day. Having a Microsoft certification on your resume is phenomenal for you. Once an employer sees that, their eyes definitely light up because it's definitely one of the top tier certifications. Whether that's an MTA, MCSA, MCSE, MCSD, Azure, Cert, et cetera, the list goes on. Microsoft has a ton of certifications now. Having a Microsoft certification is great for you. The MTA certifications are obviously very fundamental based certs, but they do have quite a few of them. Put that list right here. It's one we talked about in that previous video, which I'll put right here as well. However, they are gone after 2022 because Microsoft is taking a new approach and they are now releasing a Microsoft for Educators program, which is the really interesting part of this because now they are giving different education facilities, whether that's, you know, college, high school, you know, different universities, different types of learning programs, even individual trainers access to their fundamental materials. So basically a lot of what you would find on the MTA certifications is now being offered for educators. So the whole point of this is to allow all of our different educators and different learning programs and platforms out there an opportunity to work with Microsoft and use their training materials. And then you get access to, you know, cheaper vouchers, or even if you go with their like premium platform, it looks like those vouchers are included, which is really cool. And you get those fundamentals taught to you via Microsoft, via your educator, if that makes sense. So they're all trying to work together here to get people essentially ready to work in IT. So that's what's really exciting about it is they're kind of opening it up more broad and trying to get more people in. They're trying to get more of these educators and those types of facilities working together with Microsoft to get people prepared for IT. So again, if you have these certifications or you're looking to get them in the next year or so, they're still going to be valid for definitely like the next five years or so. You can definitely say that an MTA certification will still hold some weight when you are trying to apply for jobs or you're trying to get that leg up over somebody. Having any certification under your belt is going to be a great thing. So don't just steer away from the MTA because it's going away next year. It's still a valid certification that you can have on your resume. And I highly suggest if you're looking to get especially into any type of Windows based environment, definitely go after any single Microsoft certification you can get because it'll be very, very helpful for you. And I'm really, I'm always interested to see what Microsoft is doing. It's funny because, you know, last year at this time, they uh, retire or they announced that they're retiring the MCSA certifications and the MCSE certifications because they're going towards more role based certifications. And what does that mean for you, right? I, you thought this video was ending? Psych! No, so the role based certifications that Microsoft are now, you know, developing and have developed are more geared towards specific, you know, roles or areas within IT. So they're very, very focused into, you know, it's like Azure, for instance, there are a ton of Azure certifications. And that's simply because if you look, the cloud is everywhere. And Azure seems to be growing and growing in popularity, still not quite caught up to AWS yet, but they are definitely one of the top cloud providers out there. And you've probably heard or seen in the last few years, especially more and more companies are going to the cloud. So Azure is definitely heavily being moved over to, you know, now you have like Azure Active Directory that's now hosted out on Azure, out on the cloud somewhere where you may never know exists. No, I'm just kidding, you know what I'm saying. But the point of this is, right, their role-based certifications are trying to really help people get focused into the specific areas where we definitely need more skilled workers. So if you are looking to get into IT, going and trying to obtain cloud certifications is definitely a great option because 
the cloud is only getting bigger and bigger and growing and growing and we need more people who can support that. So this is just a for instance type of thing here. Definitely go check out the links in the description below. I have tons of other videos on this channel that talk to you guys about all the different certifications and even what happened last year with Microsoft retiring the MCSA and the MCSE and et cetera, et cetera just really crazy news at the time and this is crazy too and I'm just blabbing so that's the end of the video as always take it easy